Hello and welcome to the part 4 of Squid Game character modeling series in Blender. So in this part we will unwrap our character in Blender manually by adding seams. So let's get started. So first of all go to the UV editing menu and now select our mask. So we will start it from here and press the question mark button to solo it and as you can see it's the slash here. So go to the edit mode and as you can see it's a simple object with having a mirror modifier so we don't need to actually add the seams. So just select all and press U and make it unwrap and it will unwrap it like this which is fine. Now unsolo it again by pressing the slash button and just select this object and solo it and as you can see it's an object having uh, a solidify on it uh, the modifier I applied and it's also simple so we don't need to add any seam here so just select all and u and make it unwrap so it's the easy one okay so now start from this one which is a simple spare so press u unwrap and then go again here select the pocket go here and the pocket we have here we need some seams so i will turn on the subdivision level preview to just make make it easy for selection and then kind of stuff so just select these two edges this this and this and control e and make it mark seam now select all and press u and make it unwrap and it will unwrap it like this so just unsolo it and make sure to turn on the <coughs> subdivision preview again so it's time for this object so it's a simple color so just select all u unwrap and you will get this unwrap select the belt buckle and make sure to solo it to uh, easy for easy preview so as you can see i deleted the behind faces so make sure to delete the behind faces and now go to the edge selection select this loop this edge and control e and make it mark c and now select all you unwrap and you will get this unwrap which is fine so now it's time for the hand one so i solo it and select all press the numpad dot button to focus on it and just select the central loop like this and make sure that it select all of the loop around our hand and now control e and make it mark seam and select all u unwrap and now select the final one which is this object but before that we have to uh, do the built one too so just select all and as you can see i deleted the inner faces so it's easy for us now and now just select all u unwrapped and it will unwrap it like this now select all of the body this one this object and solo it and now we have to unwrap this so it's very simple first of all we have to separate the hoodie so just select this all all the edge around the hoodie cap and control e to make it mark seam so we will be separating this one after that select this edge and control shift and left click and alt shift left click to select this one after that select this one with alt shift and left click to select the whole loop just deselect this one and select the circle with all shift and click this circle and we also need this one and make sure to deselect this edge cause we need it until this circle and control e and make it mark seam and now it's time for this object so just select this one with l and if you want to unhide all of the other stuff to preview the object just press shift edge and you will hide all of the stuff expect except the selection selected one so as you can see i deleted the top faces and the bottom faces so i will just control e i will just uh, alt shift and click this control e mark seam and uh, click on again on alt shift to unhide all of the object and now it's time for this one shift edge and as you can see i did the same thing i delete the top of the faces and the bottom faces so just select this edge and control e and make it mark seam okay so now shift alt and shift alt and edge to unhide all of that and now press the slash button to unsolo it and now select all and before uh, making the final unwrap just control a and make it rotation and scale to apply the rotation and scale now go to edit mode select all u and unwrap and you will get this thing now we have to do the last thing which is packing this uv so you can do it by uh, the blender uh, default feature which is the pack island you can do it with this one but sometimes it don't work really good so here is an add-on for it it's uv pack master i will put a link in the description so you can download it from that so just go here and click on pack so install this add-on and press the end in the UV editor panel and click on pack and it will pack it like this which is really amazing. 
so that's it uh, hope you guys learned something from it and in the next video we will texture this so make sure to subscribe and follow up the tutorial series to learn character modeling so that's it for now bye